Uh, Karen, I want to kind of move on to another topic that is really popular, and I, 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 I've asked a few of our subscribers, uh, I let them know that I would be interviewing you again, and one of the top questions for you was just kind of just to say it, the word and to leave it out there for you, and that is Bitcoin. Uh, we just wanted to get your thoughts on the digital currency. Was it, um, is it something you've been looking at? I've been looking at Bitcoin, and I'll tell you um, what, I, what I think about Bitcoin. I think that we've had um, something called the legal tender laws, which talks about what is legal tender, what is currency allowed to be. And the, um, the particular attraction of Bitcoin is that it's not illegal. It's one of the ways that you can make payment now because we have these legal tender laws and you're not allowed to... Um, a buyer and a seller is, are not allowed to agree on their own currency, regardless of whether that's an existing currency. So Bitcoin is a way of having a legal payment possibility. It's a way of giving flexibility to people on, um, on how they're going to make payments. So in, in that sense, it's, um, it's, very, um, it's very attractive. Um, but I'll tell you, as a Currency should be two things. It should not only be a way of making a payment, but it should be something called a store of value, which is that it, it maintains its value. And that's where Bitcoin is It's not as secure as something else, mm -hmm. like a, a precious metal. So I would say that in, in the fact that it gives us flexibility, it's good, but it's got certain drawbacks as well. And I know there are people that are very loyal to Bitcoin and whenever I say anything um, critical of it I get you know I get a lot of email <laughs> but that's just you know that's just the way the cookie crumbles Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency yeah. it's not a store of value um, what what uh, in the end when you look at like you know what you just talked about for the first part of the interview, you know, one of the one of the things like we're seeing right now is with Russia and China doing these currency deals, which you which you did touch on. Um, but I'm just kind of confused here. And if you could just help me out. So are these countries trying to destroy the dollar or are the global elites trying to control to destroy the dollar? Or is it is, I'm just wondering if, if Putin is a sideshow or if Putin is the real deal when it comes to an active participant in trying to destroy the U.S. dollar? It's um, the word quantitative easing. That was a term that was invented by the Fed so that it, what they were doing in sabotaging the dollar was going to be something that we weren't going to get alarmed at. Um, one of the things that I've been putting up on the Internet is um, a whole series of proof of how this is um, this has been treasonous. It has not been done by the outside. It has not been done by Putin. It has been done by the Federal Reserve deliberately because mm -hmm. what they wanted was they wanted to force the world into a one-world currency, and it was frustrated by the BRICS countries, and rightfully so. Who wants to have a world where we're being controlled by our currency? Nobody. Okay, that's great. So, so now is the Federal Reserve is basically essentially purposely committing suicide. How is it possible for the Fed to fail when they really do have complete control of the currency? They could print it out of existence. Because it's paper. There's nothing backing it. No, that's what I'm saying. It though, how come they if they if the Fed really wants to destroy the dollar, then why don't they just do it? What are they waiting that's for? That's what they're doing. Well, how is it possible for them to fail, though, in destroying it? Um, it's not. They're, they've done it. It's, all, it's only a matter of time. Okay. Um, yeah, no, so I, I'm totally on board. I, I get what you're saying, but my, my only concern is is how, how is it even possible to stop the Fed from committing suicide when they literally control the keys to the kingdom uh, when it comes to the U.S. currency? They don't control it. When people drop the dollar, when all of the countries drop the dollar, it's no longer 
um, going to be the the reserve, the international reserve currency. I, 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 you know, I think you're giving it a lot more strength than it possesses. It's on its last dying legs. Yes, but I'm, I'm just saying though, the Fed wants. You're saying the Fed wants to destroy the dollar. What yes. I'm, what I'm saying is, I don't see how anyone could stop them from destroying the dollar. So because we switch to something else, there's, there's dollars issued by the Treasury that are in the global debt facility. They've been printed. They have to be cut and issued in replacement for the Federal Reserve note. We just exchange them. Okay, That's so very simple. essentially the Treasury Department of the United States takes over the job that it's supposed to rightfully have, which is in charge of the currency, which That's actually, right. actually on a side note, and this is totally out of the blue, but I've always been curious and no one's been able to answer it and, and – you know, I'm totally might be catching you off off guard on this one, but the Treasury issues are coins, and our coins are not Federal Reserve notes. Have you ever considered why why doesn't the Federal Reserve issue our coins? Why does the because that is money uh, when the Treasury uses coins that are made of metal? What what is the difference? Why why does the Treasury issue coins? Because that is money. I think it's because of the Constitution. The the Fed should never ever have been given the right to issue paper currency. And if you read the Constitution, it says to coin money. It may be that they thought that if they went that one last step, everybody would realize how unconstitutional the Fed is. That was one of the discussions that I had in uh, the American Bar Association Journal. They wanted me to show how the Federal Reserve was unconstitutional. I did, but um, it's not quite as obvious Okay, so um, elected officials, uh, they will eventually see, and you are showing them, that the Federal Reserve is the, is the enemy. It is, it is essentially going to destroy the United States and bring us into a one-world currency. Um, That's what they want to do, but the fact of the matter is that all of the rest of the world are giving us a hand up. They want to help us get rid of the Fed. So they are going, they together with us, are going to get rid of, it's not just the Fed, it's the Bank for International Settlements mm -hmm. and all of the central banks that are in printing the currency of the other countries.